first husband. We were married in 2000. Um, things weren't good, and they never were. I didn't want to be home with them, so I joined the gym. I, um, I opened the gym. I went to work. I closed the gym. I didn't want to be home with him. And just things got worse. I ate weekends. I ate peanut butter, and that was it. I lived off of that. Um, I was thin, but I was far from healthy. So my marriage went from bad to even worse, and I had had enough of the physical, mental, emotional, and sexual abuse, and I filed for divorce in August of 2003. In September 2003, I didn't take much time, I met a new guy, who later becomes my husband. Um, I carried a lot of baggage from that previous marriage, um, but I did find happiness once again. And in finding happiness, I quit working out, I started eating, and life was, life was really, really good for me. Um, in September of 2006, um, I was unhappy with my weight. I went to the doctor, I got prescription medication to lose weight. The, the weight came off. I lost 30 pounds in four months. But once they took me back off the medication, the weight came back on. So then here I was, I was stuck in a rut again. Um, so in April of 2007, I got married. We got pregnant the next month. I had my daughter February of 2008. Um, we bought a house in um, August of 2008, so things were busy. I, I, I don't know if I even knew which way was up. I was working full time, had a newborn. Um, in January of 2009, I said, this is it. I'm gonna get the baby weight off. So I started working out, we bought a treadmill. I made it two days into my New Year's resolution. <laughs> <laughs> only to find out I was pregnant again. No. <laughs> and not only was I just pregnant, I was 10 weeks pregnant. Like, you gotta be kidding me. There was no joke. I had another baby in September. <laughs> so winter was here, September baby, weight came back on, spring came. We started walking and running around the block at home. We live in the country, so around the block is four miles. I played softball. I lost 20 pounds, gained it back over the winter, and lose 20 pounds again. Um, but in August of 2012, um, my world was turned upside down. My four-year-old was molested by a 14-year-old. So I ate, because it made me feel better, right? It makes everybody feel better until you look in the mirror. So I was like, okay. So we got through that. And in February 2013, my little brother died of gunshot wound to the chest. So I thought, here it is. This is the silver lining. I was devastated. I was hurt. I was like, I I'm gonna lose the weight, I can't eat. Well, that was temporary, it lasted about two weeks and then I could eat again after my brother died. And then, you know the saying that God never gives you anything more than he, and you can handle? He thinks I'm tough. <laughs> because in December of that year, my husband went into the hospital and almost died. He di almost died of DKA. It's diabetic ketoacidosis. His sugar was 2200. Oh. I was like, you know what? That's what I need. So I decided I'm going to order T25. So I did. My husband comes home from the hospital. T25 arrives. That's January 6, 2014. Um, my starting weight was 240 pounds. Um, the first month I lost nine and a half pounds. The second month I was down 16. The third month I was down 25. In May, I ran my first 5K. In July, I did a warrior dash. In September, I ran my fourth 5K, and I did it in just over 28 minutes. <laughs> Today, I lost it, it fluctuates. Some days it's 20, or 65 pounds, some days it's 70 pounds. I like the days when it's 70, but <laughs> today it was 64 or something. I'm like, what? I'm not gonna give a talk today. Where are these things going? <laughs> Um, but I've lost a lot of fat. I've lost a lot of dimples, and I've lost, you know, ten and a half inches off of each thigh, lost three inches off of each arm. I've lost eight pant sizes. I was a size 20, and now I'm a size 12. But to tell you the truth, my journey really isn't all about what I've lost. It's more about what I've gained. I've gained self-confidence. 
I would have never done this. And I would have never posted that. <laughs> I've gained self-control. I've gained self-motivation. I've gained muscles. I can do big girl push-ups. It took me 10 months to learn how to do one big girl push-up. I do three now. I'm really proud. <laughs> burpees. I think they're fun. You know, I, I look forward to them. I can run seven miles now. And I go out just for fun to run seven miles. I, I love it. I could rock speed 2.0. That's probably my favorite workout. Um, I found who I am. And I'm really, really happy. And it's all because of that lady over there. Oh.